Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is a useless video about the Euro competition. I say useless because there's going to be nothing of any value in this. What it's about is I came up with a template team that's about as template as I think you can get and I thought it was interesting and I may go for that. But I've also got my own team which is fun. Neither of them are probably do very well neither of them are worth copying but I can tell you what I think anyway if you want useful content there's lots of good FPL content created out there saying useful things this is just me jabbering on for a couple of minutes before I start I should mention I have started a league please do join if you feel so inclined there's the code in the middle of the screen it's also on the left hand side and I'll try and remember to put a link down below there are currently eight of us in the league and I'm already laughed and I don't know if I'm going to get any higher than that. So this is my team as it stands at the moment and I'm torn between doing this team and the template team I'm going to show you shortly. Now this team I'm going for fun so I can just watch the Euros, maybe have a drink with it, probably have a small bet on some of the games and see some of my players running around the pitch and the off chance they're going to get some points. So the first game is of course Scotland against Germany which is tomorrow evening and I lived in Scotland for 15 years got three Scottish kids so I'd quite like to have three Scottish players I've got two in this but I may get a third one I've got Gunn in goal tomorrow evening and I've got Mittelstadt, Wurtz, McTominay and Havertz and I've got Havertz wearing the old mule hat but of course in this game every day you can move the captain's choice around so that's five days I can have a disappointing captain so really going for maximum there I may get Robertson as a defender if I find out for sure he's playing and if I go down this route. But at the moment, this is what I've got. I realise Scotland are expected to get nothing, so McTominay and Gunn and also Robertson probably wouldn't get anything, but I would have the fun of having Scottish players. And then on the 15th, I'd have DeMarco, Rodri and Yamal. I really like Yamal. He plays for Barcelona. He's only about 12 years old, maybe 13. I don't know if he's at big school yet. But he's a really good player and at the next Euros, everyone's going to own him. That's my prediction because he's so good. Then on the 16th, I've gone for Pickford, Trent, Van Dyke, Bellingham. On the 17th, I've just got Mbappe. And on the 18th, I've got Cancelo and Fernandez. Now, this is quite close to what would be a template team, as you'll see in a minute. But it's not actually a template team. The only, the most likely change I would do to this is maybe ditch Trent for Robertson. I realise that Trent is almost certainly going to outscore Robertson, but I'd have more fun watching Robertson run around, especially against the Germans. So on the left here, we can see my current squad that I've just shown you. On the right is the list of players, and I've ordered it by their popularity. So you can see I'm missing quite a few of the most popular players here. The ones that are dark, they're the ones that I don't have that are popular. Now, I took Frimpong out of the equation because there's a chance, it seems quite a lot of people think he's not going to get many minutes. But of the rest, I've put them all in the pot to see what I can do. And I have to lose five players, which is Gunn, Trent, DeMarco, Cancelo, McTominay and Havertz. And in their place, I have to bring in the turkey keeper, Rudiger, Hernandez, and Faye, who plays for Leicester, but looks like he also plays for Belgium. Then in midfield, we have to go for Jorginho. And then up front, we have Kane. And now if we look at the right-hand side, we see we've got an awful lot of the highly owned players lit up. So ignoring Frimpong, because he's thought not to get many minutes, the most highly owned player we don't have would be Phil Foden at 27%. The point of having highly owned players is... If they do well and you don't have them, you're going to get hurt. But if you do have them, they're not going to hurt you. So if Foden, if I don't have Foden and he gets 10 points, that's like minus 2.7 points because he's on 27. Whereas if I didn't have Bellingham and he got 10 points, that's like minus 4.1. So other popular players I wouldn't have in here would be Cancelo, DeMarco, De Bruyne, Ronaldo, then Trent. So this is, I think, about as template as you can get. I don't know if I'm going to go down this template route as a bit of an experiment or go for the fun route where I'm going to put in Scottish players and other players that I just like watching. And I genuinely don't know what I'm going to do, but I've got nearly 24 hours to decide exactly what it is. Now, I'm not being sponsored to say this part, but there's 
another fancy game you could play, and it's one that I'm playing, by Ultimate Champions. It's called the European Summer Edition. I play normal Ultimate Champions, have done since last summer, and it's a really good game. I actually prefer it to FBL, and kind of winning money on it as well, so that's nice. But in this, it's free to play, and you get one of every player. You set your team up according to however you want it, and there are small prizes to be had. So the top three are all going to get 400 Uno coin, which I think is equivalent to about 12 quid. Top 1,000, we get 20p. But this is for game day one, and game day one is group A and group B. And then game day two will be group C and D. And then game day three will be group E and F. So every two or three days, you can keep changing your squad around, and you'll get a chance of getting some more coins. So I'll try and remember to leave a link to this down below as well. And finally, as for the background picture, in case you were wondering, I asked the AI to draw me a picture of a haggis playing football. Because the first game is, of course, Germany against Scotland. And I think Scotland are going to certainly get out of the groups. Maybe they'll get even further. But then what do I know about international football? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have fun with the Euros. And sorry for making this video and I said I wouldn't. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>